Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, The Collector's Hub. Let's continue with the story of Harold Halibut. If you like this series and would like us to continue with it, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future. What's up, Fishy? Long time no see, huh? Hope you're having fun, Fishy dreams. <gasps> did I just... Did I hear you just wheel? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. God, of course they don't understand me. What can I use? A pineapple. A pineapple. Uh, no. What else? Don't panic, or die. Please, just wait. Come on, Harold, think. What's on these papers? Ah, just Moreau's notes. Nothing I can use. Harold, what are you dithering over? Awake! He said, we you. What? They're awake and attempted to communicate? Yes, I'm trying to tell them what's going on, but... <sighs> they seem to have fainted again. Harold? You said they said Wii U. Anything else? And some skis? Skis? Pineapple? Notes? Professor, I've got it. Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Harold, are you feeling okay? Maybe it's something contagious after all. No, Moreau. I could use a picture book to talk to Wii U. I mean, communicate with Fishy. I'm sure Chris will have some at the school. Hmm. Not a bad idea at all, Harold. I'll fetch some recording equipment, too, in the meantime. We're going to need plenty of samples if we're to decipher an alien tongue. What? You can't take their tongue? You klutz. I mean their language. Okay, but what if they wake up again? Life signs are stable, and I don't think they're going anywhere quite yet. Go on, go! Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water.
Oh, Harold, what brings you here? Chris, I need some pictures. Uh, of anything in particular? And you do know I'm not an art teacher. I just need a book. Uh, a kid's book, like Pineapple Helga the Mountaineer. Well, I'm glad you asked, Harold, but maybe you should be challenging yourself a bit. Ah, uh, yes, I will, but I just need to relax. Please, Chris. Hmm. Okay, Harold. I'll bring you one later tonight when I'm done. Ah, uh, no, I really need it now. Harold, uh, are you okay? You seem so stressed. Maybe you do really need a nice book. Okay, I'll get you one now. But you'll have to watch the Bambinos while I'm gone, okay? Yes, sure. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Okay, okay. You sure you're okay, Harold? No, uh, whatever happens while I'm gone, just don't let them under your skin. Okay, Harold, must dash. Don't let them bully you. Chris, what? Wait. Ciao, Harold. Ciao, Bambinos. Don't cause them any trouble, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, kids. Are you a teacher? Where's Mr. Tinnabob God? No, I don't know. I'm just doing Chris, I mean, Mr. Tinnabaum, a favor. I have a question. I'm probably not qualified, but I'll do my best. Where do babies come from, Mr. Harold? Uh, just Harold is fine. And, um, they come from two people. Then who are my parents? What? No, I don't mean the two people disappear. They become your parents. So it could be any two people? I think it's like uh, two people grow you and they give you to whoever's assigned to be parents? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I mean, the growing part, not not the... When will I grow up, Mr. Harold? Felix, you'll grow up soon, but don't rush it. I, I mean, enjoy your youth while you... Why aren't you a teacher? Oh, uh, for many reasons, but mainly because... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same thing? If you're not a teacher, you're a stranger. And I've always been told not to talk to strangers! Is today's lesson going to pick up from Cartesian dualism or move straight into Neoplatonism? Everyone! Please slow down. Okay, now, who wants to learn about filter maintenance? Here you go, Harold. Thanks for holding down the fort. Thank you. This will do great. Hope they didn't give you too much trouble. No. No trouble at all. Great! Everyone say ciao to Mr. Halibut. Ciao, ciao Mr. Mr. Mr. Halibut! All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Hey, number eight. May I help you? All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water. We get you where you're going. Sunny? Oh, oh, hey, Harold. How are you doing? So, where exactly did you go this last year? Well, I started by doing a round trip of the whole ship from the east viewpoint to the west room, to the north tide station, and down to the southern point, Devon's turret. How are things with you and Cyrus? Oh, fine. I don't check in with him as much as I probably should, but he's so easygoing. I just figure he's cool, you know? 
seeing me every so often, I know how busy he is too. He gets so absorbed in his work. Ha, huh, I guess that's one thing I didn't inherit from him. Do you take after your mother at all? My looks and my spirituality for my mama Anastasia, definitely. Opposites really must attract for her and dad to have got together. <laughs> and I think I owe Grandmama Serena for my adventurousness. She was a famous explorer, you know? Head planetary explorer of the Fedora for a year. You can see why I was kind of restless growing up. How was your round the station trip? Oh, it was radical. The friends I made along the way, the spontaneous experiences I had. Oh, and I tried out this fab new diet along the way. You should try it. Water wieners for brunch, three cups of warm green tea for dinner, and a cupcake for a late night snack. I'd better be going, Sonny. Peace out. Uh... What's the password? Fedora? Bad luck. No. Hey, folks. Regret to... Sorry. And thank... Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Hey, Zoya. Harold! To what do I owe the pleasure? Mr. Secretary, hello. Mr. Halibut. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hi, Warren. Welcome to Warren's. Tommy, how's it going? Harold, what's new?
Hi. Hi. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Slippy, hey. Harold? I'll leave you to keep it cool. Hey, Bridget. Hello, Harold. Bridget, how did the fedora generate energy in space? You're that interested in energy, huh? Back then, it was a combination of solar energy and an alien form of bacteria we discovered that gave off energy as a byproduct of decomposing organic matter, along with a little photosynthesis, too. It was able to recycle all the waste from the farms in the core, and the resultant mulch was transported through the ship's conveyor belt system and processed in the energy harvests. How's the energy situation changed post-crash? Since we don't get much light this deep underwater, and much of the core was damaged, we've had to mostly rely on alternatives, like feeding the bacteria ocean algae. We've tried hydroelectric, but it's very difficult to capture much energy from deep sea currents. Where does the energy bacteria come from? Originally, we harvested it from a stop-off planet, and we've been careful to cultivate it ever since. We've been able to very slowly increase the overall density of it, but since we've been underwater, their actual rate of decay has also increased, so we haven't netted out any better. Why does the tube system use so much power? Because politics, Harold. I wish it were that easy. But even after an internal and public vote, it was decided to keep all the tubes open, protecting people's liberty of mobility in the short term rather than play it safe until we have a good backup plan. You know, it was good PR for the CEO, too. Ugh. Best be going. Thanks, Bridget. Okay, Harold. Have fun. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just stay calm, Harold. Radiate calm. Show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Start teaching an alien how to speak my language. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up.
Professor, I'm sure I'm starting to understand. No need. The translation device is ready. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Does it work instantly? Will they understand exactly what I'm saying now? Oh, I can understand you. <gasps> I can understand you! So where am I? Good gosh, I'm glad you're okay. What are you? Oh, you're on board the Fedora? It's a ship. We're from Earth? Well, the ship is. Oh, sorry. Um, what's a ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're humans. Well, I see you're getting along just fine together. I've got some things I need to take care of urgently. I'll leave you two to it until I'm back. Play nice. I have so, so many, many questions. questions. So, it's a community based around the energy-giving properties of the particles. Ah, Harold, join us. Hello, you two. Hello. Will you go on? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we get warmth in the air from them. And other things. Like food? Materials? And where do the particles come from? We aren't sure. There is a big glowing hole in the cave that feels very nice to be around, though. Harold, you didn't tell me this earlier. What? I... Oh, Moreau. I didn't really tell him. Not much changes back home. So I suppose no one thinks much about them. Oi, Faye. We need to see this hole. I'd love to see it too. But how do we get there? Hmm. By the way, Professor, did you tell Wii U what you told me about the particles? I did. I suppose I owe Wii U here a thank you. My pleasure. I accept. Uh, Wii U, it's more like she means... I mean, let's retire for tea. No great plan was ever made without it. Tea. Thank you. It smells great, like flowers. Yes, don't tell Cyrus. He's stressed enough as it is without worrying about me stealing from his herbarium. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep track of. Like, whatever is going on with all water. Well, we don't know for sure. Only that they're hedging their bets on the launch procedure, and the CEO is acting strangely indeed. And then there's the Light Keepers. What's their plan in all this? Who knows? I'm wary, but at least they seem invested in the truth. And that means for now, they're on our side, whoever they are. I guess so. Be nice if they stop with the graffiti, though. What's the latest with our start procedure, by the way? My, my. T does make you talkative. Cyrus is working hard. I'm sure he'll iron out the problems he's having. It's just whether he'll iron them out in time. How do you feel about all this, Wii U? Oh, great. So much is going on. It's very exciting. And how about you, Harold? I'm just relieved we could help Wii U. 
Yes, you two clearly have a special bond already. Oh, uh, what is bond? It's something that keeps us close together. Oh, okay. Are you holding it? No, we. You, it's an invisible, emotional thing. Great. Less to carry. Will you? Do you miss where you came from at all? Not really. I'll go back eventually, and that's okay. Well, I quite wondered if maybe you'd take Harold with you. Me? To the cave? Yes, to investigate the source of the particles. Of course, I want to go, but I can't just drop everything and people would notice me gone. But... me? And me. Don't worry, my boy. I'll be in close contact. And after all, haven't you been craving some adventure? Oh, sure, but what if I get the adventure wrong? You'll just be observing, taking readings, letting Wii U show you how things work. You trust him, right, Wii U? Sure. There'll be lots of Flumilim to meet. Plenty of Malgaraha to see. What are Flumilim? Oh, that's a hard one to translate. It means... Things you can talk to, like everyone back at the cave. But I suppose it also means people like you. Oh, so it's the name for your kind? Well, it's all kinds. We've not needed any more detail before. And no one will mind if you don't call them Flumilim. Cool. It's just a bit confusing otherwise, don't, don't you think? <laughs> not for us. You will have so many classifications for everything. Even a person can be male or female. Now that's confusing. <laughs> I suppose that's true. So, do you not have, uh, two kinds of person? Not like how you're thinking. Don't worry about it. Just call us friends. Or our names. Okay, we will do. Great, then it's settled. Will you? You'll take Harold to explore the cave and meet the rest of the Flumilim. I can't believe it's gonna be me that sees it all for the first time. Yay. Oh, but I can swim. How will Howell come with me? Ah, just follow me. I have a little something to show you both. I'd like to introduce you both to Jetsum, a little hobby project of mine. Used to be a space buggy meant for short-range planetary surface analysis. And now, it will be your means of visiting a very different kind of world. It's amazing. I'll look after it, I promise. Now, before you go, I've uploaded new firmware to your PDA. Oh, what does it do? Well. I developed an update to the translation software based on your discussions with Wii U for use with the PDA, so you don't have to schlep that huge machine around. Oh, neat. I call it Omnicom. Also, you should both take one of these. Where does this go? In your ear. It's an earphone. It connects to the PDA, so you can have real-time translation. 
Plus. It allows me to stay in close contact with you. Very cool. And it'll work at long range? It should do. I developed a super efficient transmitter and new batteries for it all using some of Wii U particles. Glad to help. It'll mean that whatever happens, you can stay in contact with me in some shape or form. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do not lose it. Unlike that toaster, these aren't easily replaced. I won't. I'll be careful. About everything. That should be everything you need. Hop in. I'll be on the radio, and I'm sure you two will look after each other. We you. Let's go visit your home. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two, and have fun. For me. We will. This panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa! Too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving! Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. Seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. It's called dark. And yeah, getting very hard to see. <laughs> I know. It's chilly. Say, how did you find your way to the fedora? Hmm, wasn't easy. Dark and chilly, don't like either. But once I had started, just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly, lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep, I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it going to be a tight squeeze. We're here? We're really here? Yep. This is the place. Good job, Howell. Now we just have a short swim. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Very short. It'll be fine. Let's go. Ugh, land, finally, land. Yeah. Oh, I'm on land, real 
alien land. What do you mean? It's just a bit of rock. Come on up. So much rock. Real rock. Bumpy and slightly warm and... Yes. Rock is okay. It's rock. Ah, oh, Wii U, it's just that the fedora... It's all metal. It's not real... ground. I've never walked on anything made of real rock before. Okay. Would you like some? What? I mean, sure, but... thanks. Walking on it is kind of... Then you could always have your foot on a rock. Thanks, Wii U. Soon, we'll get there. Wow, we're nearly there. I can't quite believe it. There. Where? Wherever there is. Wow, what's gonna be there? to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm gonna see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is and what... Are you okay, Howell? This is your home? Well, not my. Our. Our place. <sighs> Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. So, this is the cave. It's... Whoa. Magical. So much space. Wii what is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. care of something but I'll be back soon oh sure should I wait somewhere yes at the waiting bench sounds cozy hello that means hi there I thought it might tell them I say hi back will do okay let's go sit cozy Howell back soon I wonder if it's polite to ignore people here. Maybe I should introduce myself. I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. So, uh, greetings. I offer you human greetings. Hmm. Is the translator not working? Let's see. Hello? Maybe it needs more calibrating. So, you come here often? Gosh, this reminds me of one time I was waiting in the all-water reception office. I was stuck in there with Nellie Hootsalot for an hour, and let me tell you, she was not a lot of hoots. 
Urp. Do you know Wii U? Gurp. Urp. Nurp. I mean, I haven't known Wii U for that long, but I do feel like we get each other. Same wavelength, you know? How are you finding the weather in here? I think it's nice in here. Warm, but not clammy. And no sudden trots when you change rooms. What's the latest news in the cave, then? Not too talkative, huh? So, what are you waiting for? Burp. Ah, that. Well, it was nice meeting you. And like Moreau always said, never say more than you need to. Air and time are more precious than extra words. Oh, hi. Opa. Oh, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Hi, Opa. Ah, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm just clumsy sometimes. No, no. Ooha. Opa. Hello. Better check. Ah, uh, translator needs some more calibration, I think. Datachum. Hello. Oh, hello. What's this place? Hmm, can't understand you. Oh, um, am I talking too fast? What's in the cave? Loud and slow as you want. Still talking nonsense to me. Oh, right. Without an earpiece translator, it only works one way. I'll just be quiet. And maybe you'll happen to explain. Wonder if you understand me. It's unusual. Lumbly gloop or anything else? Oh, so I can lumbly gloop here. Or. Oh, you do know lumbly. Is he asking me for it or offering? Sorry, don't know what else to say. This booth is fascinating. But I think I better try it again with Wii U.
Hi. So, um, what are these things? Lupo. What do you say? Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to understand me. It's supposed to be quiet here anyway. Just sit and glupo. Wonder what glupo is, or art. Maybe the things in the nooks. I don't know why you're talking in gibberish, but please, shh. Oh, I guess it's important to be quiet here. Out of respect, maybe. Hi. Uh, yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Fish in a bubble. Please be careful. It's all very sensitive still at the moment. Ah, please don't touch. We're not quite ready yet. Oh, hello there, little ones. Yes, come on, this way. Follow us for tickety.
hope I'm not being super rude somehow. Am I... are they... is... is this... Is it what? What do you think is happening? I'm... getting a greeting ritual... badly wrong? <laughs> no. You're just playing around with those cheeky kids. I think they love you now. What? So, I'm not offending everyone? Well, you're not exactly being polite. But I think everyone is pleased to laugh at the funny alien. Hang on. Do you remember Pineapple Helga? Of course. Such pointy hair. And lovely long shoes. Is it like when the mini yetis did the snowball dance? Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick tickety anyway, but they were glad to have someone new to show it to. Uh, okay. I think I get it. I think I'm beginning to understand a bit about how you all think. Yes, you'll get there. Just like when Helga has to imitate a seal to get to the ice cave. Will you? Can I ask you something? Of course. Did you tell them I was coming? <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if I just show you around before trying to answer. Come on. Hello there. Did a chick. Hi. Could you give my friend here a little something? Sure. The blue pearl be okay. Here you go. Oh, uh, will you? Mm, no. Give him the blooper doop. Thanks, will you? This one looks much better. Go on. Um, go on to do. Feed the crow up. Oh, man. Right there. Great. Come with. Come with. Now watch. Oh, trust me, I will. So we tie the uh, coisy like so, and then bubble fish. Wow, that's how you fish? Yep, bubble fish. Oh, but I mean, isn't it a bit weird that you? What is weird? Oh, uh, never mind. So. We, you, I have a question. And I have an answer. But you don't know what the... It's Tidemo. Not this time it's not. I don't get the purpose of using a fish to make a rope to then catch another fish with? Aha. Uh -huh. You can see why, right? Yes, but things just work like that here. It's not always how it looks. So what is going on? Hmm, how to explain? Things work in cycles. Maybe 
having a fish isn't the same as getting a fish. When we turn something into something else, it's not just the old thing and the new thing. There is a thing that escapes. We call it the new men. It is a something that is nothing, but it's important to have. Right. So something is also nothing, and nothing can be a something? Tidemo. Just like I said. What's this one? Um, well, the zoop soup, yes. Are you hungry? I'm a bit peckish, yeah. Is there somewhere nearby? Yes, yes, you see. What's happening now? Well, it's... Uh, the result is lumbly glue. Oh, right, of course. Very tasty. Let's enjoy. Oh, I will. But shouldn't we pay or something? Dadachum. No, we don't really pay here. The food is free? It's not free, because it's all free. We help each other, and eventually it all evens out. No one really keeps track anyway. Wow, that's such a simple system. Didachik, glad to see you enjoy. Always good to Didachik with a new limb. Oh, I am not actually a fish. I'm human. By the way, he's saying he's a human. Fish, human, lumbly glue. <laughs> I see. Thanks. I can't wait to try it. Bye. Let's eat. This looks surprisingly delicious. Yes, it's very healthy because of the minerals in the pond. And the blah, blah, blah, blah. and then... And... <clears throat> uh, what? Uh, yes. Yum. It's good for you. How? Are you okay? Oh, sorry, were you? I zoned out, but I'm super okay. There's just so much that is so new. It's a bit overwhelming. Malgaraha. Was that a yawn or a fishy word? Oh. Oh. I thought you were watching the... Well... It's like the way the light reflects from the ripples in the clear water on the cave walls and reminds you of a good time with a friend. A bit like now? Precisely. I see what you mean. It's beautiful. I see something similar in the herbarium sometimes, but I never really had anyone to share it with. This is what friends are for. It's so crazy here, Wii U. Amazing, but so different. It's pretty cool that we can understand each other, at least. Yes, I think so. But maybe you can't understand a lot of our things. Oh, and you understand everything human? Well, yes. Humans are so unpredictable and complicated. There is almost nothing to understand. You're like... The all-water tube system? I was going to say fizzy bubbles, but okay. And so, you really don't have money here? No. Okay, that's the one thing I really don't get about humans. Well, it's just a trade thing, but you can trade really easily with it. But some people have more than others. Why is that? Um, some people are more important? Remind me what is important. Um, take Moreau. She's cleverer than anyone. We all need her science. Ah, oh, but her science wouldn't mean anything without everyone else to use it. Wee, this is making my head hurt. Then let's go. Next part of the tour.
Okay, Wii U, so what is this place? I really couldn't figure it out. It's a library. What? There aren't any books. Not books. Osmosbo. Wii U, I'm gonna need a bit more of a translation. Okay. It's just that... So... Osmos is... Just knowing. That's the best I can do. And Osmosbo are those jellies. You can just know through them. Wow. So it's like a book you don't have to read. Yes, but I don't really know how they... I mean, how to explain how they work. Okay, cool. So... That's nothing for us to worry about. Come on, more to see. So, what are they doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Just wait. They're building something? Oh, or maybe it's going to be a kind of game. Very soon now, you will hear. Oh, okay. I think I get it. <sighs> what an amazing sound. It's nice, isn't it? I call it thrum. The, the song or the style of music? Well, neither really. The way we make music is more... in the moment. So, they don't practice? Is it a jam? I thought jam was for your toast. Yes. But it's also the word we use for when music is, um, improvised. Like, made up there and then. Well then, yes. That, with people watching, is thrum. Right. Well, whatever it is, I love it. And I love jam. I wish we'd brought some. Harold, are you there? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? I'm fine. Where are you? Just had some lunch. There's lots to see. Harold, I'm quite sure there is. But may I remind you, you're not there on holiday. Ah, I know. The particles. I'll get right on it. Speak to you soon, Professor. Good luck, Harold. Don't do anything I would do. Over and out. Wii you. that was Moreau, reminding us to check out the particles. Ah, uh, yes. Right this way. Here we are. Whoa, it's beautiful. So cool. So what happened to the other flumalum that tried to go down there? Others? Um, what do you mean? Well, Hasn't anyone tried going down there before? No. It's just... there. We know the particles can be used for energy. They come up. Why would we go down? To find out what's down there. Maybe it could bring up loads of particles at once. But we don't need more particles at once. Wow, okay. So, it's never been explored? Well... I suppose there was that one Flemingham kid who explored it. What? And what did they say? Not much. He never came back. 
We assume he's happy down there. And now that I think about it, there was one older Flumilim who went or fell down. Maybe they're still down there together. Okay. I think I'm going to call Moreau now. How do you work this thing? Harold, is that you? Oh, hi, Professor. How are you doing? What? Don't ask me. Have you found the particles? Hi, Professor. Wii U says hi, by the way. And yes, we found them. They're coming from a giant hole in the ground. A hole? Can you get down there? Well, Wii U says a couple of Flumalim have been down before, but they never came back. It looks kind of deep. Okay, don't try and go down there, Harold. Is there anyone or thing there with more information on the hole? There is a kind of library, but... There is or there isn't? What's the problem? It's just that the books are... jelly. So, go to the library. I don't care if the books are jelly or custard. Find some information on it you can bring back. Okay, Professor. Wish me luck. Again, librarian. I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with the particles? Hey, what are you saying? Oh, he's new. He says, do we have any jellies about the glowing hole? Oh, I believe so. You may need to test a few. I've not really labeled them. Ah, great. So, uh, how do I read them? It's hard to explain, but just hold one close to your head and be calm, and not try too hard. A bit like how memories work. Okay. Is there any way to know what each jelly is about? Just give any of them a go. I'm sure they're all full of great stuff. Yeah! It didn't like being red. Wii U, can you show me? Uh... Um, it's definitely more fun if you figure it out for yourself. I'd love to, but Moreau is probably getting antsy. I think we'd better get back to her before she gets annoyed and puts me on shelf duty again. So, Wii U, how do I read these things? How? Actually, I can't. If it's hard to explain, I'll just watch. Read. I can't understand the jellies. What? But you explained it to me. Yes. Well, we all know the theory. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm not great with human books. Half the time, the letters and the words seem to rearrange themselves. Can I just encourage you? Breathe deep. When your mind feels empty, Stick your nose into it, and remember what's in the jelly. Sure thing. We'll figure it out together. Let's give this a shot. What? 
was that all about? Doesn't seem like this one tells us anything useful. was wild, but it doesn't seem related to the crack at all. stuff about anemone shrimps, but nothing about the crack. I don't think it's the one I'm looking for. This one definitely has some interesting stuff about the crack. Wii U, do you want to try and explain? You should try. Practice. Ah, okay. Um, excuse me, librarian? Me? Could I possibly take a book? I mean, a jelly? He says he wants a jelly. You may, but you will have to treat it with utmost care and find a suitable vessel to transport it in. Oh, okay, and where might one... He asks where to find such a vessel. You could begin by asking around town in case... Oh wait, never mind. Looks like I've got one for you here. Oh. Thanks. He says thanks. Well, I got that part. Bye. Hello, Harold? Professor, I managed to find a jelly that... Harold! What did we discuss about you not being on holiday? No, no, Professor. The books here are jellies. You have to... Well, anyway, I found one, and I had to kind of sniff it? And I have info on the crack. Harold, I know you're excited, but please can you stop talking such nonsense? I'm not. Uh, the librarian says I can bring the jelly back to the fedora. Just bring the thing back and we'll try to make sense of it. And you. Will do, Professor. Back shortly. It's getting late. Let's go to my place to relax. That sounds fun. But how do you know what time it is? Can't you feel the magnetics? The... the what? Feel how? Oh. Well... 
the slight changes in the glow combined with the slight heaviness we feel in our toes because of the lateness. Okay, I mean, that's crazy cool, but I don't think it's going to apply to us humans anytime soon. Shame. Well, I feel it's tea time. Come on. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Meet Powell. Ahoy there, Nautilo. Nice flowers. He says, hello, and he likes your flowers. Thanks, but they're not flowers. They're more, uh... They're more like sponges with a hard lower root. They need water, but if they're underwater, they're not sponge anymore. Um... They're very loyal. I think they're great. Enjoy. He's impressed, and he says he hopes you continue to gain pleasure or satisfaction from your continued interactions with them. He said all that. Yes. Sorry, this translation business is confusing. <laughs> Thanks, Wii U. Anyway, come in, come in. Nice place. Thanks. My home is your home. Take a look around. Is this coral? Yep. I found it when exploring outside the cave. Like they'd probably say I shouldn't. Why would they say that? We're supposed to be happy with everything here. And I am. It's really swell. But? I think that it's also swell to see other swell things outside of the cave. No one else ever leaves? I don't think so. Wouldn't it be sad if we'd never met? Of course, it'd be. I don't even want to think about it. Mind you, I don't want to think about how we met either. <laughs> and what is this? That's Juna. It's a skull? It's a friend. Must make for a one-sided conversation, but okay. You should say hi. Hi there, Juna. Is that a sneaker? Sneaker? Is that what it's called? I've been wondering for ages. It's what made me want to explore further. I wanted to know where it came from. Yeah, it's a sneaker. You wear it on your... Well, not your feet. Human feet. Oh! Do you want it back? <laughs> I don't mean it's mine. Did you show it to anyone else? No. They wouldn't even have cared. For them, nothing exists beyond the cave. But where did they come from? Maybe long ago, from far away. Sometimes we need to get into the waters just outside, but never to go far. They just sit around and stay happy. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. I know. But once you know there's more, happy isn't the same, is it? Mm, true. I guess I haven't been happy for a while. But I guess I can be quite good at calm. Is calm nice? I think no calm is the reason I'm no good with the jellies. Yeah, I don't think about it too much. You just have to think, what does it matter? What does what matter? No matter, no what. Ah, I see. Calm is not all the time, but when you sit and forget about yourself. Hmm. So, I forget I'm Wii U? But what if I don't remember again? <laughs> I can't say I've ever had that problem. Thanks, Hau. I think I can try calm much better now. 
<sighs> this has been a pretty crazy day. Yes. Let's end it and regain consciousness in a new one. Yeah. Sleep sounds good. Night, will you? Wakey, wakey, how all? Mm. Morning, Wii U. Well, you probably don't have mornings, do you? Mm. Not like on the fedora, but there is still a right time to get up. How long have you been awake? A little while, but then I had a wander around and a nap. Did you sleep well? Yeah, surprisingly well. Feels so peaceful here. Yes. Always something clanging on the ship. Anyway, come on. Submarine time. It's going to be strange getting back to the fedora. Yeah. It'll be nice to enter it not through a filter, though. Huh. <laughs> yes. And we'll be back soon with the others. What do you think the others will think of it here? Huh. The others. Yeah. Professor. Professor. Yes, Harold. I know you're excited. It's more than that. It's wow. Everything. I mean, 
the jelly books, the beautiful lights. But we used to, and then there were his neighbors. Everyone was so friendly. They had this great way of making bubbles. You don't pay for anything. Please, my boy, you must. I know, I know. But they weren't freaked out by me at all. They were just content with whatever. You could easily just move straight in. Harold! Interesting. Interesting indeed. What? Who? When? That, Harold, is what I was trying to tell you. Oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean... Yes, <clears throat> indeed. I understand. Good work. Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. What? No, of course I don't mean an actual whip. Now get cracking. Okay, wow, here we are. It's been a wild couple of weeks. And Wii U, it's so good to finally meet you. Hello. Oi. John, everything okay? Hmm. Oh yes, it's nothing, carry on. Oh, if you say so. So Wii U, I've heard so much about you. I'm Bridget, in case you didn't know. Oh, okay. Right, well, just so you're aware, I'm sometimes known as the energy bacteria lady. I think it's because I positively grow on you. Oh, I'm great. Uh, I can see we're gonna get along just fine. So is everyone as excited as I am? Sure. Um... Oh, you're wise to be a little circumspect, Wii U. What can you tell us about it, though? It's nice in there. Very Mawagaraha. Very what now? Could you be a bit more specific? You know, this could be the answer we've been looking for. It's like I said in my report, Professor. The Flumalim don't really seem to be curious about it at all. Harold, you wrote a report? Well, just a little one. Howell's right. We really don't know much about it. I think it's probably very nice down there. Right. Well, okay. Let me reiterate the purpose of this expedition. We know the particles are a source of energy, but they're unstable and decay too fast on their own. Expedition? Yes, Wii U. It's imperative we get down there and take some readings. If we can learn where they come from, and or how they're produced, we might be able to engineer a solution. I hope you have more luck than Cyrus is having. Indeed. In the meantime, Bridget will be leading the mission prep from here, while I continue research from back at my lab. And what shall we do? Oh, you're both essential to the plan. We just haven't quite figured out in what way yet. That's okay. Oh, okay. Just keep yourself available, Harold. We'll let you know as soon as we know something. If you're really at a loose end, I'm sure Cyrus would appreciate some moral support. Okay, well, we'll be around. Will you? Shall we take a walk, check on a few people? Sorry, I've got something else I need to do. Huh? Really? Um, yes. Sorry. Oh, sure, it's just that... Yeah, sorry. 
I just got used to having you around. But you're right. I'm being silly. You go do your thing. I'll catch up with you soon. Yes. I'll come and find you as soon as I'm done. Okay, let's get to it, everyone. Exciting times. Just one second, Harold. What's up? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean, he's finally retired? Who'll deliver all the... No. I mean, he's left us. He died, Harold. Oh. Oh, buddy. I know you two had become close. I'm sorry. He was a ray of light, always running through the dark halls of Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. I'll be there. Oh, buddy. Was it? Yes. Peaceful. Professor? Yes, Harold? Nothing. Sorry, it's j just... I mean... Say no more, Harry. I know. Now, let's get going.
everyone. It's fallen to me to say a few words. Buddy and I would often share a jog together. And despite his age, he would always give me a run for my money. On our jogs and often afterwards, over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer, I came to realize something. Buddy was like the lifeblood of this station, surging up and down its corridors, delivering information, keeping everyone connected. It's gonna be a colder place without him. Buddy left me instructions that I shouldn't ramble on at his funeral. <laughs> but instead, I should play a video that he prepared for the occasion. Is it running? Yep, you're good to go. Hi, everyone. If you're watching this, uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship, especially the broken bits. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips so that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will always be moving. <sighs> Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. travel arrangements. Get home safe. Forward destinations are now offline for the night. Please return to your home station. All water wishes you sweet dreams. Söylememi 
istiyorsun? İçinde bulunduğumuz... Wait. This looks like Buddy's treasure trove. Why could he have wanted to leave it to me? So many letters. But why? Oh, I'm too tired to go through all of them and figure it out now anyway. I'll try tomorrow with a fresh head. I think you'd approve of me pacing myself. Right, Buddy? <laughs> 